Floodwaters pose more risk than just damage to property. They can infiltrate ground wells, leaving water contaminated and unsafe to drink. MTN's Jacob Vera explains when you should get your well tested and what you should look for. With heavy rain and flooding comes the potential for bacteria to enter into your ground well. Three laboratories in Helena offer water quality testing that can help determine whether or not the water is safe to drink. If nothing turns yellow, there's no bacteria. Harry Howell is the lab manager at Alpine Analytical, one of those three labs. The biggest concern is whether or not they're having fecal matter getting in there. Howell said floodwaters have the potential to carry harmful bacteria like E. coli that can make you sick. Definitely notice stomach issues and that and possible diarrhea, etc. An inexpensive coliform test can detect the harmful bacteria. According to Howell, the water samples must be gathered within at least 30 hours before being delivered to the lab and must be collected in a sterile bottle. You also should wait for waters to recede before testing. I wouldn't test and, until the flood water has gone down. It's just going to continue. Uh, your chance of getting more is there. Uh, but once the flood waters have receded, then then tested. Once received, the samples then incubate for 18 hours. If they bring in a sample today, we'll have results tomorrow. If your well is flooded, it's best not to drink the water at all, but... You know, if you have to drink it, uh, boil it first. Health officials say your well could be contaminated even if there's no obvious damage and even if the head doesn't appear to be underwater. It's best to just get it tested and find out for sure. In Helena, Jacob Fuhrer, MTN News. Howell says since the flooding began last month, they've seen an uptick in the amount of people getting their water tested. We'll have contact information for the other water testing labs on our website at ktvh.com.